travel expenses for Computex paid for by ASRock. Thanks, ASRock. Be sure to check out our Computex coverage and live stream with ASRock. So thanks, ASRock, for sponsoring this video. And on with the Computex coverage, Computex 2024. Listen, Pat Gelsinger is convinced that the uh, arm revolution is going to be a fart in the wind, and they've got the techno violinists to prove it. But first, I'm going to swing by the ASRock booth and see what they've got for Intel, and then uh, we'll go from there and see how that goes. So what's coming in the next generation of desktop processors from Intel? Well, for one, ASRock is uh, splitting apart their Tai Chi generation. And so everything is Tai Chi at the high end. The Tai Chi Aqua, you get the Tai Chi OC Formula, the Tai Chi Lite, and then the regular Tai Chi. But there's also a CAM version of the Tai Chi. The CAM version of the Tai Chi is going to enable uh, over 10,000 mega transfer DDR5 because the CAM interface is much lower noise and easier to work with electrically in terms of signal integrity than DDR5 DIMMs. This is very likely the future of DDR5 memory just because it can go so insanely fast. This is LP Cam 2 and this is a motherboard that uses LP Cam 2. So it's only ever going to be dual channel, you're not going to be able to get four DIMMs, but this one board is the equivalent of two DIMMs. So 32 gigabytes in this configuration. And this is why it's in the Tai Chi OC formula. Because it's going to be able to run really, really absurdly fast. And this is in the Intel Arrow Lake next generation platform. You've also got the Tai Chi Lite. That's coming to North America and everywhere else where people don't really care about RGB. And you'll save some money and it'll be the same electrical features as Tai Chi, but without all the RGB. Isn't that really awesome? Of course, Phantom Gaming also figures heavily in Intel's lineup. ASRock's also doing something really wild here. They have the M.2 expansion card. This is for M.2, but each of the four M.2 are only one PCIe link. So this is really just for bulk storage. You're going to get like the cheap Micro Center inland two terabyte SSDs, load that on, then you'll have eight terabytes of storage. And it's not going to be really dramatically slower than it would have been when it was using all four lanes. That is PCIe Gen 4, not 5, and it runs through the Arrow Lake, our <laughs> Intel next generation chipset. But yeah, you can see that things aren't going to be a lot different in the uh, Intel next generation system. Oh my gosh, is this the return of PCIe slots? We have so many PCIe slots. What's going on? This would be a great motherboard for, you know, the enthusiast home lab system probably just because of all the PCIe connect. I'm sure that goes through the chipset. But hey, this is way more PCIe slots than we've seen. If you're a crazy person like me, you're also wondering like, can I tell by looking at the motherboard what the chipset configuration for Arrow Lake is going to be? And my best guess is it's going to be eight PCIe lanes. And judging by the redrivers and retimers, maybe, just maybe, it's going to be four, gen lane, four lanes of Gen 5 and four lanes of Gen 4. That would be weird. But that would also be really freaking cool. So four lanes of Gen 5 and four lanes of Gen 4 to the chipset? That's pretty good. It's basically 12 lanes of Gen 4 equivalent bandwidth. Now, did you notice that the ASRock Aqua motherboard was all Type-C on the rear I.O. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. <laughs> Don't worry, they're going to bundle some Type-C to Type-A adapters. I asked. Intel was also showing off this W790 system. This is liquid immersion cooling, perfluorocarbon coolant. This is a submerged, submerged cooling. W3495X running full tilt, many zillions of watts. They put the radiators in the back. This might be the future of high-end desktop computing if we don't get the power system under control. <laughs> it's like, oh, let me just fire up Cinebench. Oh, I'm heating the room with 3,400 watts of heat. But literally everything in here is being cooled by this immersion cooling. The GPU, the CPU, of course, but also the storage, the motherboard, the VRM, everything. And the fan is helping circulate the fluid so that you don't have any hot spots in the fluid. It's uh, it's kind of wild. What is going on? Is this our future? Is this what we're going to have to use for workstations? But, uh, I mean, I know that I need 56 cores. I know that I need a terabyte of memory. If this is what I have to do in order to have that, then okay. ASRock was showing off their Intel Arc GPUs. Two A770, the Phantom Gaming A770 we've taken a look at before. Also the Challenger A770 to give an updated LED shroud. Both of those are in the 16 gigabyte configuration. There's also the Challenger A750, but also, look at this, the tiny little A380. An A380 that doesn't require external power and has six gigs of VRAM. 
it is a two slot card dual fan but it doesn't require external power which means it's under 75 watts so this system has a pro arc gpu in it this is an a68 gigabyte this is actually running an ai thing that is in blender and so there's a picture of some bmw cars but it's going to procedurally generate through ai textures for these models this is only an eight gigabyte gpu but it's doing a pretty reasonable job this is a Xeon workstation, so the CPUs are getting quite a workout. It's a W3475 with a, a bunch of memory in it and the uh, ASRock Z790WS motherboard that I've reviewed previously. So this little system is just zooming right along. And this is a texture that's being applied by AI based on the Blender model. It's a fun little demo. And that's the uh, single slot ARC A68 gigabyte. It's a professional series or uh, professional level card. This is the other AI demo that ASRock was showing off. Now this is using a 16 gigabyte A770, but it's running uh, automatic 1111, which is pretty cool. And it's using uh, this stable diffusion checkpoint to generate images. They had some other demos that were running with the A770, including uh, text generation and uh, coding helper and some other stuff like that. But it's open Vino and the full Intel software stack for AI. So it's pretty awesome, really, I guess. Well, I'm still at the Intel booth looking at the AI PCs, and even Intel is showing off next generation Intel motherboards, codename Arrow Lake, at their own booth, which is weird because I don't know. That desktop CPU is not here yet. It's not. It's going to be like maybe later in the year. Maybe we'll find out some more info. But uh, it's under wraps for now. Those don't have anything to do with Lunar Lake. Lunar Lake is just for laptops and high efficiency AI PC stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm Wendell. This level one. I'm signing out. You can find me in the level one forums. Woo!